So welcome back to Live Athletic. Um, today we're looking at the L pull-up. It's one of our critical movements for high-performing athlete. Something we see time and time again, particularly with male athletes, is that they can come in here and they can master an incline row. Then we can take it down, they can master a ground row, then they can master an elevated row, all staying tight in that hollow body position. But as soon as we get to the pull-up, they run into some problems. The first big problem with the pull-up is that they break open in the middle when they try to do a strict pull-up. So what happens with this, it's meant to look like nice and tight, but most people have trouble with this breaking open position. So if you can't do a strict pull-up, there's no point going to the L pull-up. If you can get through three or four sets of five reps staying nice and tight in that hollow body position where you do your pull-up, you can look at doing the L pull-up. So with the L pull-up, I'll demonstrate this movement. So that's an L pull-up, staying nice and tight. A couple of errors we normally see is if you don't have the abdominal strength to do an L pull-up, we'll often see this error where the legs can't hold at 90 degrees. So it might look like this. Probably the first error. The other error we see is that people will do a short L pull-up, so they'll try to do it from a shortened range. And finally, the last one we normally see is if you look, lack a bit of strength through the hip flexors, people do it with a bent leg. If you do it with a bent leg, you cannot count those reps as an L pull up. So, a little look at the L pull up. Keep your legs straight, keep your legs at 90 degrees, and uh, work hard. Thanks for listening.